Hi, welcome to another technology tutorial. This is Dan Kirkbride, the Instructional Technology Specialist for the Coeur d'Alene School District. Today I'm going to talk about how you can get your students' usernames and passwords from Skyward. So first things first, we're going to log into Skyward. We're going to go up here to Teacher Access. And under Teacher Access, we're going to click on My Classes. From there, we're going to choose a class that we want to get the information for. Go to Class Options. And in the Class Options, one of our options there is Reports. And we're going to go all the way down here to the Class Roster. And here we can start pulling the information that we want. We can choose how we want their name displayed. We want their ID number because that will be part of their password. And we want to make sure that we have this box checked, the student access login and password. This is going to give us their username when we pull the report. Once we've got those boxes checked, then we can just click export to Excel. It'll go into our print queue. And we can hit display report. And the report will come into Excel looking like this. We can start to expand our columns so that we can see the information in there a little bit better. And as we take a look at the information that we've been given, under the student access login password, we can ignore this second password here because we're going to be using the student ID number as the password. So we could go through here and delete those all if we want to. Over here under student ID, this is going to become the password, but we need to add a capital P and a lowercase w to the beginning. And we can go in there and add it, or we can uh, just tell our students that they need to do it. But I can quickly add it to the beginning of each one of these. And those are my student passwords. Now that I have all this information ready to go, I can pass it out to my students or I can use a mail merge in Word and create little cards that will take the information from this spreadsheet and put it into the cards and I can just pass those out for my students. If you'd like to learn how to do that, more instructions will be coming soon. If you have any questions about how to pull this information or if you need any help, go ahead and give me an email to dkirkbride at cdaschools.org or you can submit a tech repair to techrepair at cdaschools.org. Thanks, and have a great day.